Hello everyone, it's time for our one minute inspirations for women. But men can also have some takeaways as well. Now, the flawless word of God, you know that the word of God is flawless. There is nothing, uh, you know, bad about the word of God. There is nothing, you know, out of place about the word of God. It is infallible and it cannot err. So my question for you today is, how gullible are you? I'm not asking in a derogatory or put down way. I tend to believe what I hear, read and watch. Now, if you're like me, you realize there is definitely a need to discern truth. And that ability comes from learning, growing and understanding the Bible. You may want to get involved in a Bible study or take some classes to further your knowledge. Memorizing scripture is crucial to being able to separate fact from fiction. The American Banking Association once sponsored a training program to help tellers detect counterfeit bills. Not once during the training were the tellers exposed to actual counterfeits. For two weeks, they handled nothing but the real thing. They became so familiar with the truth woo, that they couldn't be fooled by the false. And that's exactly what I'm encouraging you to do. You got to read the word for yourself in truth. Keep reading the truth about the word of God. And that way you won't be fooled by the false and you won't be deceived because you got to have a need for discern to discern the truth. Spiritual discernment, my brothers and sisters, and there is a need for it. So don't ever think that there is no need to be able to discern the truth. And so I'm encouraging you on today to continue to read the word, study in the word, so you will be able to see the truth and you won't be fooled by the false. Jesus, we know that memorizing takes time and energy, which are in short supply in our lives. A lot of people are busy these days. And they're trying to make time for the word of God, but they don't always put the Lord's word in him and his will as a high priority. It's usually a low priority. So I'm encouraging you all to make the Lord and his word a high priority and prayer, you all. Lord, please give us energy. That energy boost that we need, because we need an energy boost. And then open up our mind to your word that we may obtain wisdom and knowledge through your word. And then encourage us and give us a, a, a desire, a personal desire, to do everything that we can to know the truth, to know truth and learn about you, Father God. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for those encouraging words. Amen. So with that being said, you all, God bless each and every one of you on today. Bye.